Welcome back to You Asked For It, where you give us questions and we answer them to the best of our ability. Mm-hmm. We have a question. Good. This would be an awkward episode. It's, it's really <laughs> awkward when we don't have questions. We just sit here and look at each other for 15, 20 minutes. And then... We did an episode like that one time. Yeah. It was the, one of the highest viewed yeah. episodes, well, actually. I don't know. That was the question. That was the question, though. Yeah, how, how do you not offend somebody? someone? Yeah. Oh, I, I hear what you're saying there, but... <laughs> And in the end, you offended somebody. Or you got offended. I was offended. Yeah, yeah. Trigger uh, warning. Yeah. Um, here's the question. Okay. Can a Christian be offended? Okay. Forget That's it. not That's the not question. The question. Okay. Tune in next week. But yeah. <laughs> as we answer that Can question. Can a Christian be just offended? technically. Well, don't give it away. We're well, of course not. Video. It's just technical. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, we question. had a great question we could have answered next week and just gave it away. <sighs> Spoiler alert. All right. Here we go. Why does the God of the Old Testament seem angry and the God of the New Testament seem to be of love? Are you referring to two different gods? What's the question? I think that's the, that's, yeah. Or is this well, one God? here's well, why. Because it was the Father that was in the Old Testament. It was Jesus. And, and Jesus is loving and kind. And the Father is cruel Jesus and angry. Jesus appeases the Father. Oh, on behalf. the Prince no, of Peace. Jesus yeah. is the nice one. And the Father is the angry one. No. Th- that's a lie. Don't go there. Okay. That, that is that's not true. That's a perception, true. though. The, yeah, but some people, would, some people assume that. Yeah. But no, 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 no. Jesus is the exact representation in the New Testament of the Father. Mm-hmm. So do you want to go first? Or no, you can. I can. Okay. It's a simple concept, and it goes from creation all the way through all eternity, in that God is both loving and just, righteous. And for God to be so, to come across so seemingly angry in the Old Testament, he was being just and dealing justly with sin. And it's, it's really that simple. And God can be angry at sin because it's evil it's against everything of him and most of the time in the old testament when god said to judge people or to wipe them out whatever Mm -hmm. it was actually for the benefit of you gotta stop this sinful stuff before it takes over everybody and it's no different that on judgment day we like to think of god as only the new testament god where he's so patient and kind and forgiving No, God is not just. He is absolutely fully forgiving, loving, all that stuff, but he's also fully just. And when you put those two together, when when uh, when it's time for God to judge sin, it's gonna be ugly. And we in the New Testament try to think everything is always hunky dory rosy and everybody's nice. And because of that, we even try to talk away, we don't talk about hell. We don't talk about that because we think, well, isn't God just loving? No, he is totally loving, but he's also totally just at the same time. Mm -hmm. In the New Testament, we are living in something that's called the day of grace, where God is storing up, not reacting to or judging people immediately. Where in the Old Testament, he judged, like, like if you think end times judgment, you know, heaven and hell judgment, he judged people more instantly. Now he is holding his judgment, but it's still there. But his, he wants to act towards his cre- creation. He wants to act towards us loving. He's, he's being patient with us. Mm-hmm. His wrath is still there. It has to be or mm-hmm. he wouldn't be loving. Mm-hmm. How loving is it to allow a, a pedophile murderer to wipe out a bunch of kids. That's not loving. There, there, to be loving, there has to be justice. Mm-hmm. And God is loving, and he has to be just, or else there's no love. Mm-hmm. So it's basically that simple. I think, Did that make sense? Yeah, I think, too, just to add to that, this idea of um, God, you mentioned it real briefly, that he was, he was trying to prevent sin from kind of overcoming the nation of Israel. Mm-hmm. So in the Old Testament, working with his chosen people under the old covenant, the Mm -hmm. old rules, a different kind of agreement that God had with people Mm -hmm. before Jesus came. His character didn't change, Mm -hmm. but how he may have related with people was definitely different depending on what 
covenant you're under, you mm-hmm. know, that sort of thing. For me, I think the thing that makes the most sense to me is just as a dad myself, you know, mm-hmm. that when your kids are really little, you control them more, mm-hmm. you dis- you physically discipline them more, yep. and as they grow up, it's less of that and more talking and more freedom and more we'll let the consequences just happen. You know, I tried to teach you, tried to show you principles, mm-hmm. and now, like, well, you made that decision. Now let's deal with it. Now it's, it's not like I have to slap your hand every time you're going to do something. So right. it may seem more loving in the moment if we have, you know, a, a limited view of love. Right. But, yeah, there's still consequences. There's still things that happen. There's still judgment. There's still... Back to the Israel thing. God was protecting his chosen people. He was mm-hmm. protecting his people. Mm-hmm. Remember before Abraham, before God spoke to Abraham and said, I'm going to create a nation of you, the, the world was barbaric, sinful, mm-hmm. lawless, barbaric world where there was no law, there was no mm-hmm. love, there was no... So God creates this nation to bring in this thing called uh, love and to bring this thing about respect and order. rules, order, yeah. these things for their good. And there were other nations, barbaric nations, wanting to destroy that. Well, God, out of his love, dealt with that. Mm-hmm. And that's what we see as being his judgment or his cruelty. But uh, again, God's character is love. And in order to be purely loving, you have to be just. You, there is no love without justice. Okay. Would the couch like to comment? I think you guys did a great job. Yeah, that was fantastic. <laughs> it was really good. Uh, yeah. yeah. So why do bad things happen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Because is sin yes. in this world. And we live in a broken world. Everything happens for a reason. Mm-hmm. Most of the time, the reason is because we're stupid mm-hmm. and make bad decisions. <laughs> well, when people at, we're getting off a little bit, but re- really, my heart just wants to like protect people from being hurt. But when people say, "Why did God let this happen?" Mm-hmm. If you reverse that question any other way, it's why doesn't God control every single aspect of my life? Why did God let me cheat on my taxes? Why did God let me speed? What God doesn't let, I mean, it's, we're the ones making these decisions. Right. And if God is going to intervene with one, principally, wouldn't he have to intervene with all of them? Mm-hmm. I mean, if he's going to be consistent. Yeah. It, well, then, then no there would be no such thing as free will. God mm-hmm. respects us mm-hmm. and loves us so much he gives us free will out of respect and love. You can choose, like your children, they can choose to hate you and run away and do whatever. And you know what? When they're older, you, you, uh, hey, I can't make them love me. There's consequences now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a twofer. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> well, they kind of went hand in hand. Lucky viewers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what are you going to do with it? Oh wait, that's oh, not wait, my, that that's was not me. That's, that's a that different a topic. Video. Okay, that's, that's somebody else. <laughs> but the answer is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the answer go. is uh, yeah. right back. That went it. right through. All right. Well, uh, thank you for joining us. For you asked for it. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Or you, Did you con- say condiment? Condiment? I, not condiment section? Sure. <laughs> I, I I slowed down on the He's end. Hungry. I'm really, Dave really Bonsland. getting kind of hangry. Uh, feel free to put them in the comment section below. Email them to us. Text us. Whatever. T- see us on a Sunday morning. Go ahead and ask us. We've gotten them in many different ways. Hit me and, up on MySpace. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah, it used to be. I think it's MySpace is still a thing. Does is Justin it? Timberlake still like own a Owns controlling section? A chunk of it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know who Justin Timberlake is? You see that he's not Bieber. No. Nope. No. No. Nope. You're off by about twenty years. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. That's okay. okay. That's okay. That's for another time. Not too. MySpace. I haven't checked in a couple weeks. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, wow. all right, and we'll see you next week. Okay, stay in your space, okay? Yeah. <laughs> this, I'll this, be in this my, is space. my space. You stay in your space. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>